Hello Ragers, I hope that you're all doing well. Now, I originally finished the script last September when I was riding the high I felt after receiving my student loan and searching for a new jacket for the fall, but my mood was deterred by the horrors I had witnessed on my grailed shopping ventures. However, I still felt as if things would get better, that there was no point in complaining and wasting all of your time with a nonsensical video if it would just be obsolete in days to come. But, alas, months later, here we are. Shockingly, resellers will resell and continue to ruin everything I have known and loved, but Grailed, with its grubby paws, never fails to drag me back. It is easier to imagine the end of the world than the end of Grailed. There is no alternative. And in my search for a coat for the fall, I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Sheen jeans labeled as If Six Was Nine X Hysteric Glamour X Japanese Brand, $300 Hollister hoodies with Japanese fur. It is evident that we are in late stage reseller techno feudalist hell. Something has to be done. It's obvious that Grailed has been on a downward spiral for a while now. We were there for the 9% fee introduction, we faced the consequences of binding offers, and mourned the loss of the comment section. But after seeing the things that I've seen using the app more frequently for a few weeks, I'll never be the same again. I'll get into my gripes with resellers in a bit, but my main issue is with the search function feature and item tag system. The ability to create and save filters is actually quite helpful, and you can really narrow things down and find some decent items, but that is all essentially rendered meaningless when items are tagged wrong and nothing is done about it. It's so unnecessarily annoying when you spend a while curating and refining your save search just to look for specific brands or items, just to see mass amount of items tagged incorrectly as Japanese brand or streetwear brand x whatever brand you're actually looking for. Since there's no way to filter brands out, you're basically at the mercy of these inaccurate listings. Oh, bootleg Gucci hoodie? Yep, that's actually Beauty Beast X if 6 was 9 and it's $400. I know what I got. Don't lowball me. Flare denim with a wash tag in a different language? Uh, these are actually avant-garde Japanese brand and $165. Uh, you get my point. If you could just filter out brands that you didn't want to see, it would make things so much easier. Here's an example of a filter that actually makes sense. Say I'm looking for build ideas for the next league of Path of Exile, but I'm expecting to be a poron with no mage blood. On PoE Ninja, you can search for the item and then say if you want to include it or exclude it from your search. Now, if I could do that on Grailed with Japanese brand, avant-garde brand tagged items, then I would be in heaven as I would no longer have to see stuff like this come across my feed. Being able to filter things out as opposed to filtering for things would make a huge difference. Because even if I want to see items tagged Hysteric Glamour, I run the risk of encountering bullshit items tagged Japanese brand X Hysteric Glamour. Although tags like vintage or Japanese brand can be useful when you are unsure of the brand or whatever, it is when they are stacked with X Hysteric Glamour, X Balenciaga, that it defeats the purpose. Obviously it's beneficial to the seller since it boosts impressions, but to the buyer it clutters your feed with items you may not want to see. I've seen this discussed in passing on Reddit and gained traction on Twitter every so often, so it is a known issue and something the community would greatly benefit from. If only the grailed admins would stop jerking each other off and hosting little yachty closet cleanout events four times a year. Despite this, after a couple weeks of diligent searching, I was able to purchase a coat and a t-shirt and didn't have any problems with the sellers themselves. I think as long as you keep in mind that we assign value and meaning to these things, and the items themselves do not have the same production cost as the price they are being sold for, we basically determine their significance and corresponding worth. The only people buying from Trust Fund Baby 4G seller are other Trust Fund Babies or NYC Crypto Anorexia Cult members. Of course, resellers will be resellers through and through, and it's really not worth attempting to change that. They'll get their 15 minutes of fame throwing a chrome heart shirt off of a balcony and the attention that they so desperately want, but I say, keep them distracted with such trivial matters. I operate on a plane of existence in which they couldn't even begin to fathom. I live in the world of knowledge and experience. It doesn't bother me at all that I'll never be able to afford the $100,000 Chrome Hearts beanie chair. I swear it doesn't bother me. But honestly, until Grailed can do something about wrongly tagged items and Red Wave Vetements hoodies selling for $2,500, I'll continue to resort to alternative means of John Copping. That's not even considering the massive amount of complaints that Grailed is still regularly getting till this day. Most commonly you'll come across instances of frozen accounts, scamming, or incompetent moderators, which to me and other veteran shoppers, this comes as no surprise. But it is still humorous looking at all the reviews on Reddit, the Better Business Bureau, and other sites. I do feel for those who have been turned into the method and are victims of fraud, but the fact that there are pages upon pages of complaints uh, really says a lot. 
The unfortunate thing is, much like Uber, Grailed, the platform, is profiting off of the conflicts between the buyers and the sellers. The sellers are pissed because they're getting hit with extra fees, so they overcompensate by raising the price of their items and do whatever it takes to sell them. And on the other side of things, the buyers are pissed at the sellers for listing items at such high prices and tagging the items incorrectly. All the while, Grailed sits back and laughs, and reaps the benefits, of course. So, as mentioned before, as a buyer, I would recommend seeking alternatives to Grailed. If you don't mind using a middleman, then Yahoo Japan is an okay choice, especially considering when you search for a certain brand, you'll actually find items of that brand. Same with Zionyu, once you juice the algorithm a bit, you can find quite a few nice items, whether real or rare reps uh, that would otherwise be way more expensive. And in the meantime, you can look at funny pictures of cats while you search. But getting back on track, I bet a large majority of resellers don't even know why they're putting the tags that they put, they just know that they work. There's no love of the game anymore. Cutting out the middleman will often be the best way to go to save some money, although perhaps a little riskier and requiring more effort. If you find a shop you like on Instagram or whatever, there will usually be cheaper prices than Grailed, considering they don't have to account for the extra seller fees. Just obviously do your due diligence, and I doubt the guy from Abascus Market will ship your Chrome Hearts chain you bought with Monero although still probably a better buying experience than whatever goes on on Depop. Honestly, that is more or less it. I just need to express my concerns while they were still fresh in my mind, and I didn't want to drag this on for any longer than it needed to be. I hope others can confide in the fact that us fashion bros are in this struggle together, and if any Grailed admins are listening, please implement my ideas that I came up with by myself and then give me $10,000 in-app credit. Thank you for your time, and later, ragers. Guy sounded like he was either Chinese or retarded. <laughs>